तो अब मेरा आमंत्रण है अरुणाचल प्रदेश से ओइन कॉम्बो Today, I stand at the temple of democracy, the Sansad Bhavan. Not as a Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, Isai, no North, South, East, or West, but as a youth of India, that is my Bharat. Namaste, my beloved people of India, from the land of rising sun, Arunachal Pradesh. My name is Oin Kombo here to speak on the topic Youth at the Helm leading the way toward a sustainable future. Remember when the British said the sun never sailed on the British empire and it continued to suffice India but in 1947 the sun had sailed on the British empire and that was the effort and the sacrifices of the youths of our country for ages respected judges today the most populous country and the fifth largest economy knows this will make a great difference to the world and that progress will be led by the youths of our country the youths who sacrifice himself for the service of the nation the youths that speak up against any kind of evil the youths that are here in this parliament have already taken up their weapons to make india goal fulfill but somewhere we have lost our way political system have become more about competition social fabric has poisoned human mind and soul and nationalism have killed humanity and we youths had sat down ourselves in our smartphone in my heart boil thinking about it is this the history we are facing to our younger generation the people of india we know that you and declare 21st june as international yoga day but if we youths of india ourselves refrain from yoga from political economic activities and are not aligned can india really achieve becoming a vishwakuru and its sustainable goal i ask this question to the youths of this country can india today my voice is being heard by thousands of youth thousands of different youth and i say to the son and daughter of this land wake up and give yourself to the service of the nation and not to the habit that defies you and slaves you and suffices you and make you a machine mind because more than machine mind we need the essence of humanity in our youths that will empower itself and then aspire to empower the nation we know by 2047 india have its own goal of becoming a bikshit bharat a vishwaguru but the question is can india really become without the role and the leadership of our youths no because we youths are the future of this country yes you 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 and everyone we are the one who will lead this country and make once again india the land of sone ki chiriya youths today let us not talk about what is my dream let us say we have a dream for india to rise and live in its gold where development will lead to human happiness and not misery as i end i quote bhagat singh yuva yadi galat raah par chal pade to wo sansaar ko aathmbadi ban kar trast nast kar sakta hai aur wahi yuva yadi sahi raah par chale to wo योद्धा बनकर संसार को अभिदान दे सकता है संसार को अभिदान दे सकता है आई थैंक यू माय पीपल ऑफ इंडिया आगाम पर जय हिंद ओइन कॉम्बो बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आपका 